So if you're watching my channel, then chances are you have heard of ML Sound Labs. They are a leading innovator in amp sims and impulse responses, and they have had a huge influence on the world of modern metal. Well, recently, ML Sound Labs decided to throw their hat into the world of drum samplers with their debut of ML Drums Modular Drum Sampler. In today's video, I want to take a look at the free version of ML Drums and all the features that are included specifically with that version. There is a premium version, but like I said, we're taking a look at the free version. And later in the video, we'll take a listen at what they sound like in the context of a full mix. But right now I want to go ahead and hop into Logic and take a look at ML Drums from ML Sound Lab. I'm in Logic and we're about to open up ML Drums and take a look at what is included in the free drum sampler itself. Let's go and open up ML Drums. All right, so this is the interface of ML Drums. And like I said, this is the free version on the premium version that I saw on YouTube earlier. You have all these other symbols and you have a few more toms and then you have a couple of different selections for snares and kicks. Uh, but let's go ahead and click around on the kit and just see what each piece sounds like. There's your kick. Like I said, you only have the one. Here's your snare. Tom. Rack Tom. My least favorite part of the free version is definitely the cymbals, and that's unfortunate, but they still sound pretty good. Here's a China cymbal. Your hats. And a crash. So obviously you can tell that the samples themselves are already pre-processed. These are by no means raw drum samples, uh, but this is just the default preset. So there's really no extra processing going on. I'll go ahead and take a look at the other presets and we'll take a look at those really quickly. So you'll see in the drop down menu, if there's an X beside the name, then you'll get this pop up when you click it. Some instruments not available. Select a preset contains instruments which differ from your available instruments. So that just means that the preset you selected um, is missing either a snare or a kick or one of the toms or some cymbals. So that's that's where the premium version comes in, but you can still click the preset and it will make a kick and snare and the other versions that you have sound different. But there are a few presets that are included. So you have like this natural rock, pop punk, metalcore, And honestly, I think that the drum tones themselves within the genres of the presets they have are pretty accurate to the genre sound. I'll go ahead, I'm gonna put it on metalcore. But what's really cool about ML Sound Labs, let me take a look first at this MIDI menu. The MIDI menu is cool because this is the default MIDI map for ML drums, but you can go in here and they have stuff for like addictive drums. Uh, you can completely clear the map. They have stuff for get good drums. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Superior drummer, Steven Slate drums, dang. I feel bad that I don't know what this GM stands for. Anyways, I use the map for GGD because that's what I usually use. And also, let me say this while we're right here talking about GGD. My favorite part of MO Drums is not having to open up Contact. I don't know what it is about Contact, but it is just an absolute CPU suck on my computer sometimes. And really, it depends on the drum library. But a few of the GGD drum libraries do not run smoothly on my system, and I did not have any problems with MO Drums. I kept my IO buffer on 64 samples the entire time I was mixing, and it was... It was triggering MIDI the entire time. I hadn't bounced down the tracks. I had absolutely no issues with playback. And that's not something I can say about contact drums. So that is a huge plus for ML drums in my book. Let's go back into ML drums and take a look at the mixer. This is a really, really cool part of ML drums. And I'll say with the free version, um, typically on a premium ver uh, drum kit, you would see here, where you could route different tracks. I'm running this just a stereo out. I'm not doing individual drum tracks. I did attempt to do that with ML Drums, the free version, but I did not see a way to do that. So that may not be something you can do with the free version. However, I didn't think that it was really needed because the processing that you can do inside of ML Drums is really cool. And I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So on each channel, you have the highs, the mids, the lows, the amount of reverb you're sending, the amount of room you're sending, and the amount you're sending to the overheads, which is cool because you can completely control the bleed in each um, section. So for your kick or in the overheads or in the room. So I'll go ahead and say one thing I did for my version is I basically took the overheads and took them almost completely out of the room. I had very little going in the room and I had a, a good amount of kick going into the room, but I really boosted the snare in the room and then I compressed the room like basically all the way and just blended that into taste. And if I were processing these on Im individual tracks that's something i would typically do i almost always have a room samples bus that i'm compressing the heck out of and i was able to emulate that really well in ml drums but i really like the eq on this like i have no idea what frequencies it's actually boosting i just know that it's doing something that i like you know like i hit that and i can take the mids out you can just make that sound like a really scooped cool kick drum turn up that turn up the highs a little more just depending on where you want your click 
I found it really, really easy and really kind of intuitive to mix the drums inside of ML Drums, and that's not really something I've done in any other drum program. And so with EQ and routing and compression and all that just built right into the mixer, I think mixing your drums and just having a stereo out, especially the fact that it is not super CPU intensive and you can mix the drums without bouncing down the stereo track so you still have ability to use the mixer while you're mixing your song. Pretty satisfied with just the free version of ML Drums because the mixer is so cool. So that's it for the mixer. And the final tab that you'll see on here is the shop. And this is, you know, you can buy your full license here. It's cool to have this little shop tab and it says it's a modular drum library. So I'm not really sure what that means. I think I may have read something on the website earlier that, you know, you can basically just buy pieces for your drum kit. So instead of having to buy a full library extension to the drum kit, if you want to buy a new snare, you can buy a new snare. And I think that's really cool. That's a model that I haven't really seen in other drum libraries. So that's it for all the features of ML drums. Let's go ahead and see what they sound like in the context of a full mix. I think you're going to like it. ML Drums from ML Sound Lab. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said, my favorite part of ML Drums is the fact that it is not in contact and the mixer inside of ML Drums is actually really useful. So if you guys haven't, go ahead over to mlsoundlabs.com and pick up the free version of ML Drums. Give it a try in your mixes. I think you guys will really enjoy it. I'll see you guys in the next video.